Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today and I pressed the wrong button to start off with. So, six and a half years of me playing this game, I invested my life into it as I've mentioned a few times throughout these Christmas events. I just love it. I love that they keep putting out these updates, it really does, it gives me something to do and I love something to do. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to spawn in here, Christmas event, we, you know, if you've missed any other Christmas mission look in our playlist of just fishing planet if you need to get past and on a certain fish mission fish monster mission or you want to find a hot spot in a certain lake look in that playlist we're getting close to the 600 mark we're, we're getting there 600 videos of just fishing planet anyway <clears throat> I couldn't give you a better reason to hit that subscribe button other than that now we progress through this and I've spawned in here you see my guys highlighted orange there on the left and I'm just gonna walk just can I walk around this way there we go now I'm gonna go for Christmas tree decorations I'm gonna go for the gar I feel like the gar is gonna be gonna be the the one that I'm looking for I think so so catch fish carrying the red carrying a red bull on Lone Star Lake or Nerin. I'm not a big fan of Lone Star Lake. I don't think anybody is, are they? <laughs> I don't think anybody is a big fan of it, and that's because obviously it is uh, a little bit of a slow pace and um, not the very biggest of fish in there. But then, depending on what you level on what level you are, you know, if you're a beginning level, then there could be some good fish in there. So anyway. I've got some baits. The baits that I've got, I purchased. Um, I got some baits from going around collecting free stuff from every place where it's got a Christmas hat on. That's where you're able to collect some free stuff. Now here, I'm going to put on, I think I should have checked all of those hooks to be honest. But anyway, ginger cookies. And if you don't have those, you can get those by collecting them for free. Or you can come here to the event backpack and do what I did you can there buy ground bait and stuff and other baits which I purchased that one and I've also purchased this one which also gives me tokens as well they cost bait coins you don't have to buy those although it is gonna make your life that little bit easier so I probably would recommend it if I'm honest okay so whilst we're doing this <clears throat> it says the best way to get the fish is what did it say uh, to let fireworks off wasn't it yeah decorations by fishing with Christmas lures and baits all around the world fireworks increase the chances to catch decorated fish okay well I did run out of fireworks but luckily I asked some of you guys to send me some so many people saw that video and not one person sent me a firework although I say not one person <clears throat> good old dad coming clutch here <laughs> dad sent me all of his fireworks and I do mean all of them he sent me all of them so I got about got about 90 fireworks now it says if you let fireworks off it's going to increase your chances to get the fish so I'm not going to get too happy with the fireworks like I did before I'm just going to place them down one at a time and with a bit of luck maybe maybe we might end up getting a fish let's have a look have I got the right hooks on there oh no okay I got a six up on there <clears throat> no not even a six up sorry a hash six should I say on that one okay I'm gonna I'm gonna put on a few different hook size and we'll just kind of work out what's working best for us where's, where's the gingerbread man there you go ginger cookies yeah, before I let them fireworks off, that was, a, that was a close call there. It was lucky I didn't let off too many because I forgot to change the hook on some of these rods. And that was obviously from when we was catching the other fish for the other mission. I forgot to change them over. Okay, so we've got a four rod on there. That's okay. And this one. This one we got a one rod. We need to change that, definitely. So I'm going to be using two threes and four op hooks, maybe even one, uh, maybe even a five, nah, I don't need a five, I think, uh, 
Yeah, because they're not very big fish in this place, to be honest. Oh, that didn't equip the bait, did it? It took the bait off. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm going to use all of the gingerbread. I keep saying gingerbread. Ginger cookie. I'm going to use all the ginger cookie, and I'm going to use two watts, three watts, and four watt hook. And that's what I'm going to use, and hopefully we can see what fish we catch on what hook and then that's kind of the way i will balance it out right, we've got a four on there okay that one's perfect okay i've got yeah 90 now in fact now i have 90 fireworks and that was because i did go around on some of the lakes and i, <laughs> I was just going up to the presence just trying to collect fireworks to try and stock up just for this video because i got to catch 40 fish here well, not just in this place, but I've got to catch 40 fish. And then I, there's one separate fish I've got to catch. So for this mission alone, that's 40 fi 41 fish you've got to catch. So this one's definitely going to take me a short minute, and it's definitely going to take quite a few edits. So that's what I'm going to do, just so we don't pro out the uh, video, we don't make it even longer. I'm going to make a couple of edits now, and I'll bring you guys back when we get our first one on. All right, we're back in. Sorry about that last clip. I don't know what happened. We lost a bit of audio, but um, anyway. <laughs> yeah, always make sure you keep an eye on what bait and what hook I'm using because that is what's going to make your gameplay different. Always make sure you're fishing the same location. Anyway, we are here. <clears throat> I've got set up. Um, I will show you exactly where we are and all that good stuff. So I'm using Marmalade Red Worms using the smaller hooks now on the hash four there. There you go. That's completed. We finally got it just there. So we weren't casting that far, to be honest. Now, you can find them all around on this lake, but um, this was probably the quickest place that I found them. So that's why I'm showing this as the main spot. Okay, there you go. There's enough one. <laughs> We're not that we need it now, but anyway, so that's where it is. So I spawned in. Let's show you where I'm spawning in because we had to, we had to move around a little bit. So, um, okay, let's move back over to there. Okay, so this is one spot right here. You can get them, which I'm cast. That's about thirty foot just in front of me. <coughs> and then there's another spot over here there which you can cast just 30 foot and that also works but if you spawn in so I am here where my guy's highlighted orange with the rod in his hand so we're gonna walk around down here this is where it was uh, was it this side or was it the other side I don't even know it was this side wasn't it yeah okay there you go oh no okay it was the other side oh gosh bubbles Oh gosh, you're making a bit of a mess of it. Okay, right. <laughs> so I'm 
so I've spawned in here now. Oh, actually, there's closer. Okay, so I've spawned in here. Let's show you where I am. So highlighted there at the top. Okay. <clears throat> so it's not over. Is it over that way? Okay, there you go. So it's not over near the house. I didn't think it was that way. So we spawn in here and we walk down here. Now, if you let off the fireworks, that's definitely... That was definitely going to make you catch these fish a lot faster, for sure, 110%. Now, I was standing over that side over there, but you can also stand f even from here. We've got these lily pads here. You can literally just cast just there. Or you can cast here, whatever takes your fancy. Look how close that is. That's very close. Or you can stand over there and then cast to here. But these three lily pads, that's where you want to cast at. Right, so that's that one done. That was in Lindsay Villa. Now we gotta do the rest of them. This is very time consuming. Mud water or falcon? I don't know. I'll bring you guys back when I'm there. I'll be back in just a sec. So yeah, for the last clip, as I said, uh the last clip. Keep an eye on the bait and hook. Always look at the bait hook and the location where I'm fishing. It doesn't matter about the rod reel, uh what tackle you're using. Just always the same hook, always the same bait, always the same location. I'll be back in one sec. There it is. There's our first one. So I've moved over into Falcom Lake. I thought that's a good place to fish. I kind of like this place. So I'm using the uh, Marblade on the one knot hook. But I've also put on some other bait. That was my first one there that I had. So I'm trying the spawn sack and I'm trying some other bait as well. We'll see... We'll see what gets the job done. Okay, trophy brown trout there. Okay, I'm going to keep catching them. And uh, I'll let you guys know how much... Uh, I'll let you guys know what 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 I catch on the most out of each bait. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be... Uh, yeah, the marmalade red worms. That's what I'm guessing it's going to be. But I'm going to... I'm going to try a few other baits as well. As I said, I've got some spawn sack. I've got some of the natural eggs on there and stuff. But that's how far I'm casting. I spawned in at the boat dock, Falcon Lake. And uh, I'm reeling it into about 160-ish foot. Cool, wow. <clears throat> now, I could have technically made, catching each of these 10 fish, I could have technically made separate videos, loads of separate videos. But I didn't want to do that because it's just uh, more for you guys to watch. If I can fit it all into the same video, although it's a lot of editing for me, it definitely makes you my, your job easier. <laughs> Doesn't make my job easier, but it makes makes it easier for you guys. So <clears throat> I'm gonna quickly move around here just to quickly show you. Okay. So we're at Falcom Lake, spawn over there on the far left, where it's highlighted orange, the guy in the boat, that's where you spawn, and you will spawn right next to the boats here. Now if you haven't got a boat, you might not see that boat there, because that's my boat, but you will at least see a kayak that you're able to rent, and then just walk across here, and then we are set up literally just here and as i'm catching fish you can obviously tell it's the yt that does it now other people uh <laughs> kind of surrounded me but anyway i'm gonna get this job done and i'll let you guys know what we catch on the most what bait we catch on the most and there it is i did have a couple of people help me out on this one so it was that Sweet V, I said Sweet V water, it was actually Sweet V Vess, or v Vass, I don't know, I can't pronounce his name properly, but uh, yeah, he let off a few fireworks, helped us out a little bit, and there was, oh wow, they're all coming in now, and then there's this other guy in this place who's been helping us out, so this is Falcom Lake, now we got a choice, either Rocky or Everglaze. I haven't quite made up my mind on which way I'm going yet because I do quite like Rocky Lake. But then I absolutely love uh, Everglaze. So uh, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can guess where I'm going, but we'll see anyway. The Marmalade Red Worms was definitely the winner for this one, 110%. It, yeah, it really did. It really did. Uh, yeah, that's what caught all the fish. I tried other baits. It didn't work. That's what That's what got the job done. But um, where is the guy? There you go. Texican Liz. Oh, well, I say, I say guy. The, the woman. <laughs> she let off some fireworks or I don't know he she should they let off some fireworks helped us get this one done so now I'm leaving there and I'm on my way to get the last ones done now as I said I'm sorry this video has gone on quite long but then the reason why is because of course I'm trying to fit a lot of things into one video rather than making all those separate clips I bring you guys back when we get a fish on for the the other one and we got one on there it is florida everglaze and now there's one left and that's emerald or tiber hmm. okay so i've been casting here let's show you where i spawned in so i'm over there on the far right where it's highlighted orange my guy there uh, we cast to that marker there. I will pull out the map and show you as well But that's about a hundred foot out there. I've been casting and I'd say it's about equal. I've been using some frozen bait and um, large cut bait and I probably caught about five of each I would say so um, Yeah, your choice frozen cut bait or normal or uh, Large cut bait the four op hook worked there quite well Let's pull out the map and just quickly show you that pinpoint, which is just right there. Okay, let's quickly grab this one. Now there is other places in here in Everglades to to catch the drum. There's it here, and we've got absolutely tons all over there. So uh, I did try over the other side, but I didn't. I only had one over that way. I caught a lot more. The marker there. I definitely yeah. I, def I definitely caught a lot more there than what I did over here. But over here, you can also catch the drum from from there all the way round. Okay, so I'm going to head over now into Emerald and uh, get the last one. I'll bring you guys back again for that. Oh, there it is. The one that we've been looking for. Well, that one... Uh, Took a little bit of a short minute, but luckily somebody random come into the room and uh, let off a couple of fireworks. Christmas tree decorations, declarations. Wow, I couldn't even speak there. On White Moose Lake, now you can decorate the Christmas tree. Okay, there's the red ball, candy cane. Okay, we got a few, we got quite a few there. Summon a crystal fish. Okay. So that, that's another, oh, okay, right, so that's what we got to do next, um, and then decorate the tree after that, so catch the mystical crystal berber, which I've caught that before, so uh, hopefully that should be a little bit easier, with a little bit of luck. <laughs> Alright, well, that, I hope you guys did enjoy this one, leave your comments in the comment section below. This one was a little bit of a longer video, as I said, but then I didn't want to make loads and loads of separate small videos. I wanted to make it all into one, just to make it that little bit easier for you guys. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on updates on Fishing Planet. And of course, the next one, the me well, that next mission that we're going to be doing. Make sure you stick around so you see us decorate the tree. Don't forget to smack that like button. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out. Okay, and I'm back. I had to add this clip in. I was in such a rush that I didn't show you what I was using. So I was using a 2 watt hook, the small minnows, and you don't have to, but I was using some of this mega cookie ground bait. Now, um, in here, in Emerald Lake, as you can see, I'm at the boat dock. So this is where I am. And uh, we was just cast into literally th right there. That's... That's where it is, that marker there. I'll show you on the map, but I will cast as well, just so that way you guys can see the distance. So that's that there. And I'm going to cast to there, just so that way you guys can see it. Yeah, there you go. So about 100 and, 
I'd say about 120 to 110 foot-ish seems to work well. This time, we will catch you again for some more fun and games. I am out.